Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Norman Network. And today, we are going to be talking about the next episode in Gotham Season 5, 13 Stitches. And this was a really good episode. So I've got my trusty pen here, and I will cross it off. So, 13 Stitches. What happened in this episode? Well, we start off with Jim running away from the mind-controlled Ed, who is chasing him with a gun, and eventually he gets away, and then he doesn't really get away. They're in this uh, rundown ambulance, and Jim manages to short out the chip by taking defibrillators and going on his head. So, that worked. And that's just kind of how it started. That was a pretty big thing to start with. Uh, then we have um, Bruce in GCPD precinct, and Alfred then comes, and he's being suspicious of the army people because they don't really seem like your everyday uh, relief people. So he asks him some questions, and then they get escorted away, and then they beat up some army people, and they run away. And then what happened was Jim uh, took Ed to uh, a place of some sort, and they got talking to uh, Lucius and Barbara and such. So they kind of fix Ed. Lucius takes the chip out of his head. There's a little funny moment in there. And then the bad army guy calls Jim and, well, not calls him, but radios him and says the terms and that Lee has been captured and we see Lee. And then Jim, of course, it, because it's Lee, has to save her. So they go and they meet at Haven, uh, where Jim breaks apart the chip, and him and the leader army guy start having a fist fight. And then um, we go to a whole nother part of the story with magpie coming and infiltrating penguins secret underground um like vault and stealing a gem and then it, she replaces it with a bomb gem that it's a replica and penguin gets really angry and has to go talk to uh, selena and selena is being chased down by a whole bunch of crooks that want to take her out to get some credit because she's the one that supposedly killed Jeremiah Valeska, which, of course, we know she did not quite kill him. So, Penguin and Selena make a deal to find uh, Magpie, take her out, and then get the vault back. So they find Magpie, and uh, they kind of lose a battle to her. They get stuck in this room. And then they, they get out really, really easily. It's not even really special at all. And we discover that Penguin is planning to leave Gotham because he has nothing left to conquer in Gotham. He's been the king of Gotham in both the bad way and the good way. He was, the, he's still the king of the underworld. And for a while there, he was the mayor of Gotham. So... There's that whole story from season three, and that's... I love that storyline. It's great. It's a really great story. So they get back, and they go back to their vault, and it, uh, they find Magpie there. Uh, she got caught in a booby trap, and her line is uh, boom, boom. So <laughs> Penguin pulls out his gun and goes bang, bang, and shoots her twice. Which was both really really awful and also really funny so then we head back to Jim and the army guy 
fighting, and they fight a whole bunch more, and then Jim pushes the army guy into a uh, big sticking out uh, rod, and it stabs through his chest, and he seems to be dead, and then Jim hears two gunshots, and he's like, Lee, oh no, and then he runs over, and then it turns out it's Lee with the gun that shot both of the army people that were about to execute her. Uh, meanwhile, uh, well, actually not quite meanwhile, just a little bit after this, uh, Jim then gets back together with all these people, and they're ready to do this thing. They have this whole plan that they put together before Jim got into this fight, and so we don't really know this plan. All we know is they're going to try and broadcast the uh, command that uh, Miss Waller put to, into Ed's brain to destroy Haven. So Bruce has to infiltrate the radio tower on top of GCPD precinct, which of course is guarded by the evil army people. And Ed, wearing this full uh, crazy uh, bulletproof suit and bombproof suit, brings in a bomb. And um, Lucius and Barbara are, and Alfred, are preparing a sort of, some sort of like a knockout gas to put through the vents, which is going to take a little while because the fans have to stop rotating this way before they can rotate this way. So, um, Ed has this bomb, and he has, and he gives them this riddle to defuse it, and it, it's actually Harvey that figures out how to defuse it because Harvey did some sort of high school science assignment on the riddle. Well, not the exact riddle, but the main idea of the riddle. So he gives them the code. The code is correct. And then the gas pours into the room and knocks out all the bad guy, all the bad army people. And Ed has to get the gas mask from inside the case, which wasn't actually a bomb. It was just a case for the gas mask. So he doesn't get knocked out. And then it all seems to be going great. They save Lee. Uh, Jim's talking to Lee in his office. And uh, Lee then, it turns out she also has a chip. Uh, Waller turns on her chip. She attacks Jim. Jim uses the cut cords of a lamp to electrocute the chip from working in her. And then he's talking to her. And then Barbara walks in and... <laughs> says, hey Jim, I'm pregnant. End of episode. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot in that episode. A lot more than the last episode, I'm just going to say. It was a pretty big episode, and it was actually the end of disc one of Gotham season five. Understandably, it was pretty crazy all the things that happened in it. So, on that note, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!